Let's continue to discuss factors that lead to pro-social helping behaviors, but this time let's see if there might be some interesting gender differences. As we delve into the battle of the sexes, let's clarify that the term sex typically refers to biological differences between males and females. In some ways, the term gender is a little bit more complex because it's based on cultural and social roles and people can identify with a gender in ways that don't correspond to their sex. As we talk about differences in pro-social helping behaviors, I think we social psychologists are a bit more interested in gender differences because there are interesting trends in helping that correspond to the different roles that society prescribes for men and for women. To understand most of the research that's been conducted so far, it's important to see that much of it has tested how helpful people are in emergency situations, like when smoke starts billowing into a room, or when someone falls off a ladder and is crying out in pain. These are situations when a helper needs to physically act. To help, you need to actually do something, and sometimes whatever you'd need to do might be dangerous, because where there's smoke, there's fire, and where there's fire, there's the potential to get hurt or even killed. Well, have no fear. Women and children, step aside, because society typically expects men to handle these situations. Of course, women can fight fires and tend to broken bones, but men are eagerly standing by, waiting for an opportunity to be a physical hero. These are typical male helper situations, and oftentimes it's true that added drama leads to extra heroics. For example, when there's an audience, particularly an audience of women, men are more likely to step up and provide help. They want to attract attention because it allows them to strut their stuff. They want to show how fit they are. They want to show how capable they are. And in the process, they hope to gain the respect of other men and the affection of women. Remember what we've learned previously. Not all helping is altruistic. In fact, most helping is at least partially egoistic. In other words, most helping is at least partially selfish. But the fact that men are more likely to be physical heroes doesn't mean they're more likely than women to provide help. In the real world, most emergency situations are much less newsworthy. So who's more likely to help a child who crashes a bike and needs to be bandaged together? Who's more likely to provide help to a friend whose marriage is crumbling? And who's more likely to provide daily care for a relative struggling with a medical condition? You guessed it, my friends. Women are more likely to be social and emotional heroes. Just as society expects men to help in dangerous physical emergencies, society expects women to help in social and emotional emergencies. Society expects women to be caring and nurturing, and whether or not that feels natural for a woman, most women recognize what society expects of them. Therefore, they're more likely than men to provide this kind of help, even though they aren't always given the credit they deserve for their efforts. Otherwise, gender isn't a good predictor of who's more likely to help. When you look beyond the two classic situations we just discussed, gender differences become much less reliable. So if a coworker needs someone to cover a shift, is a man more likely to help or a woman? Over the long run, it's unlikely that we'd find consistent differences. But let's stick with the workplace example for a minute. If someone where you work needs help with a project, Who's more likely to ask for help, a male coworker or a female coworker? In a variety of situations, researchers have found that men are less likely to ask for help. And that's probably based at least partially on societal expectations. Just as men are expected to fight off attackers and put out fires, they're also expected to demonstrate their competence in other areas of life. So asking for help is somewhat less socially acceptable for men. Smart men will indeed ask for help when they need it, but there's a risk that they'll hurt their self-esteem and their social status. Well, that's it for this section, but stay tuned because there's more social psychology coming up soon. Mm -hmm.